Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight is an actor you know from Mind Hunter, Frozen, and Hamilton. He's now in The Matrix Resurrections. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Jonathan Groff. It's so good to see you. Thank you for having me back. Now, here, here's, the, here's the thing. I've, I have seen the movie, because I'm super cool and special. And uh, can I, can we, what can I say about who you are? Like, what can I reveal? Can we reveal anything? Or <sighs> the internet is saying you're a baddie. Yeah. You're a baddie. Yeah, is that you could fair? Say that. You could say that. You're a baddie. But I other think... than that, we should just leave it? I mean, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the rules. I don't, I don't know the rules. I don't but I punch yeah. a column that you just saw. Right. And, and I have an interaction with Keanu. Okay. So all like that those are that is very evocative of some of the of the other scenes that we saw in the original Matrix trilogy. Exactly. I'll leave that explanation right there. Okay, perfect. No, but okay, so it came out in 1999, the original. You uh, were uh, quite young at that point, one imagines. Were you a fan? Like, were, when did, what was your first encounter with the Matrix movies? I was 14 when it came to the theaters. Okay. And then a couple of you, so I didn't see it then. Because? It was rated R, and I wasn't allowed oh. to go. I forgot. I forgot. I right? forgot. It's got the sexy. Yeah, 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 exactly. So then a couple of years later, I went with my friends to the Blockbuster video. Blockbuster? Anyone? I remember that. You remember I that? Remember yes. That. Sure, sure. That was fun. That was fun. I miss that. Right? Yeah. And we got the VHS. Sure, be remember kind, they rewind. Had the empty. Yeah, exactly. Yo, yeah. Those empty boxes, and you would see if the movie was there or not. And we were very excited The Matrix was there, and we had our minds blown. Mm hmm Yeah. So what was it like to audition? So, so you've, you've seen this movie. It's a seminal movie. It sort of changed, like, science fiction movies in, in kind of a profound way. It's really a brilliant film. So what's it like to then go to audition to be part of the continuation of this incredible series? I didn't know when I went. So Carmen Cuba, who's the amazing... Wait, <laughs> you went into audition not knowing anything? She texted me, and she said... There's a very exciting movie with a very exciting director. Will you fly to San Francisco and meet said director on your day off from Little Shop of Horrors? I said yes, and then I found out it was Lana Wachowski and I was meeting on The Matrix. And I thought, well, I'm not getting this. But I would love to meet Lana. I'm a huge fan. And sure. so I went to San Francisco. And what, what about the training for the actual, like, kung fu? Did, like, what was that? Or do they just, like jack into the back of your head and feed it in. Because they can do that now. They I can do that. Ooh, yeah, exactly. Elon Musk is working on that now. <laughs> the chip oh, I, in the head. I, I so really what, kind of, that. what kind of training are we talking here? So it was two months of, of training with my, my friend and trainer, Eric Johnson, in New York to get ready for the fight training, which was about four months. So you had to train for the training? I had to train for the training. <laughs> wow. Did you yeah. get big? Like, did you get, like, like, you know, I'm sure you're already fit. You know, your the musical theater guys are always, like, you know, ready to go. You're dancers and everything. It's got but the like... dance belt on always, just in case. Me uh, too. Yeah, right? Me too. I can right tell. now, it's comfy. I can see it. Sure. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Tap shoes and a dance belt 100%, all the time. 100%. 100%. Um, yeah, I had to train for the training. And then when I got in for the fight training, I walked into the tent, and Keanu is there in his jujitsu outfit, covered in sweat, going like, pa, 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 pa. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Carrie Ann sure, was, Anna like, Moss, fighting yeah. Carrie Ann Moss, yeah. the incredible Carrie Ann Moss. Yeah, exactly. Trinity. 
She is like looking like she hasn't aged a day and is fighting literally 20 people. And I thought, wow, am I really gonna step on this map? But I just put one foot in front of the other. I took all of my anxiety, mm -hmm. turned it into rage as the character. Yes. They called me the savage in Whoa. the training tent. Wow. Yeah, and I just like went for it. Now you said, I heard that you said that stage fighting is like making love. And I'm curious, <laughs> why, why is that? Because it's all fake. Why is it? <laughs> Why is that the case? Is it like about trust and control and stuff like that? You're exactly right. Okay. It's a it's a physical dialogue. So <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever cut an album of love songs, that's gotta be the name of the album. <laughs> Jonathan Groff, physical dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> It was you in a headband like Olivia Newton oh, John. Oh, yes. You're fantastic. Yes, mm -hmm. John Travolta and Staying Alive. Mm. Just like, yeah. Sure. Um, there's no lines. It's like, it's like doing a love scene because you're telling the story with your body. It's more intense in a fight <laughs> <laughs> because, and Keanu talked, like, kind of taught me a lot about this. There's like an agreement between you and your partner. You're going to make contact. You're gonna put. So <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> Go on. You're gonna hit each other, mm. but you're gonna have a physical agreement that you're not gonna you're not gonna go all the way. You're gonna do it. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> You're so close. So close. <laughs> and, the, and there's a camera. And there's a camera, yeah. And there's, <laughs> there's a camera. You know. And a director. <laughs> a director. And someone doing continuity. <laughs> <laughs> there's craft services. Exactly. And a union. You know, making love. The parallels are endless. They sure are. Speaking of the parallels of making love and, uh, shall we say, uh, physical awakening, we are coming up. Uh, your breakout role was Broadway's Spring Awakening in 2006. There you are. Thank you. With Leah Michelle. I just want to point out, so uh, y'all, uh, uh, you know, uh, in November, the original cast came together for the 50th anniversary of the Broadway debut. Look at you guys now. How did you get hotter? How is that? <laughs> Time generally does not make people hotter. You guys are scorchingly sexy oh my here. God, thank you, Steven. You, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We're the one who get to see it. Thank you. Oh, Any wow. advice on the rest of us to stay, how to say, you know? You're killing it. You look great. Thanks. You can come back anytime. But yeah, we did. You can come back anytime, man. Thank you. Thank anytime. You. Yeah. We did the Spring Awakening concert as a benefit for the Actors Fund. Mm. And that's a, that's a, uh, yeah. excuse me. You got it. You got this. I got so excited about the Actors Fund, I, I forgot to swallow. <laughs> that's a Pretty wonderful. Exciting. That's a wonderful fund. Yes. Since March of 2020, the Actors Fund has given out 24.2 million dollars to people in the entertainment industry. Everybody in the theater, you know, all the theater actors lost their jobs and this, this yeah. organization came in and saved the industry. So also HBO and Radical Media paid for us to do this concert and are making a documentary about the experience that's gonna come out this spring. Well, Jonathan, a pleasure as always. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for Good having me. Good to see me. you again. What a pleasure. The Matrix Resurrections is in theaters and on HBO Max on December 22nd. It's Jonathan Roth, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah.